<laughs> okay, one more time. Heading down. Uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything else. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I've got my B armor on, which means I have my three uh, imps here following me around. Hopefully they will be a lot of help. If not, I'll have to switch out to different armor. Maybe the meteorite with the uh, uh, gun, which might have been a better idea. Ooh, crap. Did not want to do that. Uh, I wanted to look at the map. Let's see. Ah, here we go. So, I have explored a fair amount of the uh, hell level down here. I think I did that in one episode. I went all the way from that way, all the way over here. So I should have a straight shot. I shouldn't need to clear anything out in order to fight the Wall of Flesh. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to summon him and just have a straight shot from the left straight on to the right side. Because that is what I really want to do. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough room. Because I think if I go a little bit to the right side of where spawn the cent dead center of the map is, where spawn is, he will spawn in that direction and be heading in the opposite direction. So he'll spawn to the uh, left and head to the right. At least that I'm, that's what I'm hoping. So, uh, let me get my obsidian skin potion on. Pop. And get my regeneration potion on. So, I think the spawn is just a little bit further this way. Now, the way you summon the wall of flesh is, uh, is you find a demon, one of the flying winged demons that are down here, and you'll see that they're carrying a little doll in their who in their uh, uh, and on the bottom of them. They're like carrying it around, and when you kill them, they drop this, which is the guide voodoo doll. Now, if you take this guide voodoo doll, throw it in the lava in hell, it summons the wall of flesh and kills the guide. So as soon as I drop this, the guide will die and the wall of flesh will be summoned. And hopefully I actually do have <laughs> the capacity to fight it and I'm not being completely stupid by doing this. So, let's do this, shall we? Boom. Wall of flesh. Yep, here he comes. Wall of flesh. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Go, my bees. Go, my bees. Fight for me. Fight for me, my bees. Go. And I'm out of mana. Ow. He's firing lasers. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ow. Now, the wall of flesh <laughs> is just that. A giant wall of flesh that, uh... Oh, crap. That, uh... Oh crap, ow. Where, how, where do I get through here? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, I guess I didn't have that enough for there. Oh, no. But, uh, yeah. The wall of flesh, as you would kill him. He, uh. Let's see. Let's see if I can get. Come on. He has these, uh, little tentacle things that. Oh crap. That, uh, fly out. I have enough? Come on. He has these little tentacles that are have these little grabber claw things on them that uh, attack you. And when you kill them, they fly off at you. So, uh, ooh. Really hope I have enough room. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Great, okay, come on. Go, go, my bees. Come on, kill him, kill him. Ow, ow, ow. Come on. Kill me! Come on. Go! Go, my bees! Ooh. I'm guessing this was a bad idea using my bee gun. Go! Go, go, go! Kill the boss! Ooh, crap. Okay. Come on, I'm out of mana. Come on, mana. Get me, mana! No. This is a bad idea. A very bad idea. Especially since I don't have any way around, damn it! No! Oh. Damn it! Whoa! Crap! Oh no! <laughs> okay, 
you think the B gun might not have been the best idea? Or maybe not. It's killing it. But it does look like I have finally killed all of the, uh... Oh, I'm gonna run out of room, aren't I? It looks like I've killed all the little tentacles. So, uh, at least there's that. Come on, come on, come on, kill him, kill him! Go, my little winged minions! Let my mana regen a bit. I really should have grabbed another, uh, type of ranged weapon. Because I don't have any... I don't have anything else other than my, uh, my B-gun. Okay, come on, come on. No! No! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, come on, come on. Oh, crap, no! No! Okay. Okay. <laughs> no! Okay, that sucked. That sucked very, very much. Horribly bad. And, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. The bee gun, not the best choice for fighting the wall of flesh. And the bee head gear, bee armor, not really the best choice. So, I think I'm going to empty out my gold and stuff so I don't lose any more money. Because that was a, something I probably should have done before. And then, as much as I hate to say it, this bee armor, not the best for fighting the wall of flesh. And I think I'm going to switch it out for the old standby, which is this stuff. Come on, how do I get it? There. Oop, no, go away. Come on, put it down. There. So, yeah, I think I'm going to switch out to my meteor leggings, my meteor helm, and my meteor chest plate. And instead of using the bee gun as much as I love the bee gun, uh, yeah, it's uh, just, it just doesn't do as much, enough damage to really merit its use. So I am going to take my space gun and hopefully have a better chance at this. So I'm going to head back down there. I've got one guide voodoo doll left. So hopefully this will work this time. Okay, well, I didn't really get a chance to... Well, I did have a chance, I just didn't do it. <laughs> to explain how the boss actually works. So, I'm going to do it for now, before I actually summon him again. And the way it works is, when the Wall of Flesh is summoned, he will spawn on one side of the screen, like he did, and then slowly move to the other side. And you have until he gets to the edge of the map to kill him. If you fail then you die regardless of how much life you have. So, uh, I am... Die. And the way the boss works is he has... Die. He has two eyes, one mouth, and a bunch of little tentacles with little mouths on them. And as you kill the tentacles, they shoot off the mouths and they come out and attack you. So, you have to kill all the tentacles, you have to kill the eyes and the mouth, and, and once you do that, the boss dies. And once that happens, well, if it happens, I'll, t I'll show you what happens. But yeah, let me drink another potion, another potion, and a bit more armor. And I think, take damage, and slow falling. Uh, mana, I have mana potions. Ooh, increase mana regeneration, which would have come in handy. Uh, increase magic damage. Ooh. There we go. So, I think that's everything. And there he is. There's one of these demons I was talking about. Voodoo demons. That are carrying the voodoo doll. So let's, uh... I don't know if they changed it, but... There was a chance that when you killed the voodoo demons... They would actually drop the, the guide in the water. In the lava. And it would summon the wall of flesh accidentally. But yeah, I don't know if they changed that or not. So let's get started, shall we? And see if we can do this one more time. Uh-oh. Uh. Hello? Wall of flesh? 
Um, is there a limit to the amount of times you can summon him in a certain period of time? Because I just tried to summon him. Is he on the map someplace? Die. Go away, stupid enemy. Because, yeah, I just... <coughs> oh, that's right. Asher the Guide has just arrived. It takes a while for the guide to respawn, and the gu you have to have a, a living guide in order to uh, actually summon the Wall of Flesh, because you have to kill him with throwing the voodoo doll into the lava. So there we go. So, this time we are going to try and uh, kill the Wall of Flesh using this. So. so here we go. You have to aim for the eyes, aim for the mouth. And, uh, ooh. So, yeah. As much as I like... Ooh, crap. Ooh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, crap, crap. As much as I like the bee gun and like that, uh, it is not the best thing to fight the wall of flesh. Because, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, it just, it just didn't do enough damage. I mean, each bee d does a fair amount of damage. But not a lot. I mean, it did handle these guys very well. All these stupid little mouths. But as far as getting into the eye and stuff like that, that just didn't happen. Oh, crap. Come on, die. Die. Die, die, die. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Die, die, die. Little mouth. Okay, get that eyeball. Get him. Okay, uh... Ooh, crap. Good thing I have some obsidian potions. Okay, where is it? I can't really see. Ah. And the eyes do shoot lasers at you, so... That is one of the major problems. Ooh, crap. Uh... Go, 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 come on, come on, come on. Die, eyeball. So let's, uh, get some of these bees going. Come on, come on. Come on, uh, where is it? Where's my... Ooh. Die, die, die. See, they're only doing like four or five damage per hit. So, uh, yeah. It's not great. He is almost dead. Let's get some more eye shots. Just a few hundred. Come on, come on. Come on, go, 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 go. Ow, ow, go. Come on, come on. Oh no! I was so close. So close. I should have hit a healing potion. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Okay. That was... That just sucked. <laughs> I'm going to have to make some more of these uh, uh, iron skin potions and stuff like that. But yeah, I got a lot closer that time. Just a few hundred more hit points. If I would have just hit my healing potion like that. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to make some more potions. And then come back and try one more time. Because that, that was just so close. So, I'll be back once I have some more potions and I'll come back. Because I'm also going to have to find another friggin' uh, uh, voodoo doll in order to do it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. And until next time, where I hopefully kill the Wall of Flesh... Because these two times were not the best attempts I could have had due to the fact that I sucked and just did not hit my healing potion in time. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you later for more Terraria. Bye.